Hey, buddy. Um, time for some chess. Trying something a little bit new today. <clears throat> um, it's the same old stuff. Oops, I'm examining. I'm examining. 20. All right. It's the same old stuff. Uh, I actually don't know whether I have sound on or not. Can I test that here? Oh, well. I'll find out when the game starts, I guess. Um, I'm not going to mention exactly what it is that's different about today until after the game. But um, I tried to put myself, I'll put it this way, I tried to put myself in a different mental state today than I have been previously. Um, I'm drinking some water during the game, so I'll keep myself hydrated. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, I just, I have a little bit of a headache, and I, I have a feeling that's due to hydration, uh, dehydration. It's been a uh, very hot week here, it's had a lot of sweat just even just being outside you sweat a lot so I'm, I'm just trying to keep myself hydrated and um, I've done some tactics today my tactics rating went up 30 points or so in about 20 minutes of work so I think uh, maybe this mental state preparation that I've done has has done some good I uh, will see but uh, yeah waiting on the game here looking at my uh, statistics my graph is looking pretty good. I'm peaked up at 1613 right now, the highest it's been. I've been there twice. I lost a game and then came back up after winning my last game. So um, I'm doing okay. I would love to um, get about eight rating points out of this and tie at least tie my uh, best rating, which is uh, 1621. So you probably, I don't know, yeah, you can see that. My standard rating right now is 1613, but over here on the far Right, ooh, there it was, and there's no sound. Okay, so we're playing a 1,655-rated uh, player. Let's get this up and always on top and get into it with some French defense. All right. Oh, my goodness, it's been a long time. Knight d2. It has been a long time. Let's go this way. Um, I haven't studied this line since I had to play it for a 45-45 game. So I'm sure I will play inaccurately here, but I remember the basics of it. And I think the 45-45 game I played last with this line wound up with a rook sack on, on f3. By me. Say rook sack, I should say exchange sack. And um, it didn't go so well after that, but I, um, I thought the idea was sound. My opponent didn't. <laughs> he said something about it after the game. But I still think uh, that I could have played better. If, if I had played better, then um, there could have been something interesting have come of it. Had come of it. Whatever. Um, so here, I mean, I'm just playing in a knight c6. Just the same old normal kind of stuff. It seems out of order. Um, do I play knight c6 here, or do I just go ahead and and take? I think I play knight c6 first. And then he may play something weird like 92, which I mean, I say weird, I think that's main line. Yeah, I don't think that's the right move. If I remember right, knight f3 is inferior to knight e2. Now, that may be, and I've got no idea how to punish it. But I will tell you, um, real quickly, I think the line was 92. And then later on, after I exchange on d4, play f6, um, after I take here, he takes back with that, and then later on, the knight can come to f4, attacking e6, which will have been weakened. And so I'd have to play queen e7 and all that stuff. So I think that's uh, probably not the right square for that knight. And now I don't know whether to play queen b6 or, or what, or if I just go ahead and play... Uh, f6. I think I'll just go ahead and play f6. Not real sure. I haven't, I really haven't played this uh, Terrish defense, or variation, Terrish variation of the French. I haven't played it in a long time. Long, long time. So, uh, what I'm thinking here is that the knight on e2, or the knight on f3 should be on e2 here in this line. 
So playing the same way should give me some advantage since that knight's in the wrong place. That's my thought process. I'm not 100% sure on it. Now my um, dark square bishop come out to b4 and get some get a pin on that knight. That's a potential uh, move. All right. Uh, I think let's go ahead and take. Um, I think bishop b4 first, and the reason is because if I go takes, take, or if I go takes and he takes with the knight, um, then this diagonal is open for his queen. And so I'd like to get castled before I recapture, or I capture on e5 if I can. So, let's do this. Right. So I really don't know if I'm playing correctly or not, but uh, it feels okay. I've got my king off of that diagonal. That feels like an important thing to do. All right, now this is something that I keep I keep seeing come up in uh, post game analysis. But I never think of it during the game, and that is if he takes on f6, I always just automatically capture with either the rook or the knight. But could g7, or g7, yeah, g7 takes f6 be the right move. And then supporting an e5 push. Truth is, I don't know. And we'll have to uh, see at the time. But I'll try to think clearly here and, and see what I come up with. Um, hmm. Odd. I don't know where he's going with that. So should I resolve this tension now? Would it benefit me to do that? And why is he doing this? I mean, the obvious answer would be knight to here, but as of now it loses a pawn, so I don't think that's that's correct. Um, num, 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 num. let's see. Not really for certain what I should be doing here. What about, uh, some way of... I was trying to think of some way to activate the light square bishop maybe along this diagonal here to either offer or um, force a trade. Uh, something like b6, and I mean I haven't come up with anything yet, but something like b6 and then either bishop b7, queen c8, bishop a6, which is slow, or b7, uh, b6, knight b8, one of the knights to b8, probably the c6 knight. But he's really overprotecting d4 here, which is smart. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. You don't really have any uh, pawn breaks now is the problem. I'm just kind of stuck with this uh, set of four pawns in the center. Now he's thinking about taking with the knight instead. Um, yeah, okay. So let's not waste time thinking about how that would have turned out. I need to get something going with this guy. I really do. I think that's going to be my next plan. Now, I'd like to keep this knight here for now, if possible, to guard c5. Therefore, a plan of coming out this way doesn't really work. Um, I have potential plans of queen e8 um, over to h5 at some someday, but I mean that's not going to do anything for a while. Um, I have uh, 
I have maybe queen b6, which pins that pawn, and then I could actually take the pawn on e5. That's interesting. I mean, that's just a one-move trick, so I mean, I don't want to make make a plan around that, but at least it's something that's in the position here. Um, so let's look at plans to get the light square bishop out. b6, knight c6 to b8, and then bishop a6. I think that's something I'd like to try. So I could come up with some other way to guard that square. What about a5? This seems more active. a5, b6, bishop um, a6. What are some potential problems with that? If I go a5, um, is there anything you can do to stop b or to yeah to stop him from playing b6 or b5? Let's go a5. Okay, so this is a little bit annoying in that now I may have to play either queen c7 or queen b6. The queen b6 uh, comes with the tempo because he'll have to uh, deal with his e5 pawn. But it gets in the way of my b7 or b yeah b7 to b6 plan and then the knight or the bishop up. So let's see what comes of this. Um, if he if he guards that, then I may come back to c7. Okay, so does that just lose a piece? Well, no, it doesn't. But it almost does. Huh. Now, I'm looking at... I was looking at a, bishop takes a3, but taking with that guards the knight, because his knight is unguarded now. No, it's not. His, his queen is guarding it, so I have to do this. I had to do it anyway, I think, but... Uh... Wow. Strange. Um, what about knight takes right now? This knight, he takes, I take. Oof, this is kind of complicated. Let's look here. If I play... So this knight is guarding this bishop. Ah, well, let's just take the bishop. Take the bishop and then take the knight, or take the pawn with either knight. Works well, I think. If I take with this knight first, he takes. I take, and that's fine. Problem is, he can always just throw in that bishop take. So let's just take it first ourselves. Ah, I need to take with this because, hmm, no, I need to take with this because this, the bishop can then guard e6. I just missed e6, was hanging in that line. Whoa, okay, interesting. Um, wow. That's a little bit surprising. Are there potential tactics here? I mean, I know that he's threatening to check me on h7. But can I just win win the piece here? In other words, bishop back to e7, queen takes, king here.
Um, no, actually it would be mate because of the rook. So, um, what do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do here? Um, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to play g6. So let's, let's calculate here. g6, knight takes, rook takes, rook takes, um, knight takes. Let's go with that. Hmm. I need to do... <sighs> How worried am I about this F8 thing? Because... Thinking about rook f5 here. Okay, if I take here, he just retakes with the, with the rook, and I have the same problem with no back row guard. If I move here, if he takes it, then I can take with one of the pawns and be locked up pretty well. So I'm going to do that. It still leaves all the same options open. This comes with some tempo. Oh, no, it doesn't because of the f6 square. So I think this is okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. One of the things is that guards f3. Check. So he can't get ah the h7 square. All right. Maybe I can run into the middle here. I'm not sure. Or if he goes h7, can I play king g7? And now Check. I'm... Yeah. So I'm guessing king e7 here is best. Or king g7. King e7 or king g7? Which one? King g7 stops him from taking h7. f7's guarded. I think I'm in good shape there. So this is precarious. All he's got to do is move that, but right now his queen is under attack. So now he's, he's attacking whatever that is. h7. Um, h5 defends it. So it looks like h5 might be what I have to play. Not fun, but it's what I need to play. Check. All right. 
here I'm going to have to take with the bishop and he's going to get the, the queen in. But it's something I have to do. I have to, I have to trade that piece off. So. Alright, I think I get in here to uh, h6 now. He might play rook f6. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of missed that. Um, I'm still hanging on by a thread here. Right, so now he's threatening to take. Pretty good move. Um, pretty good, pretty good. So how do I stop queen takes g6 and protect the knight? Is it even possible? <sighs> so if I play knight takes, and he plays queen takes, and then I play knight takes bishop. Or if I take knight takes here, and then he plays knight takes. I think knight takes here is, is the move. Knight takes, if he plays queen takes, then I play knight takes bishop. Oh, hung my queen. Ah! Okay. When he sees that, I'll resign, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this was not the best game I've played in a while, but, um, whatever, I guess. Let's see if he uh, even sees it. I'm sure he does. I just completely missed that my queen was pinned. Okay, so resign. Unfortunately. Say thanks for the game, and good luck. Bummer. Um, let's see how things were looking before that. I think I was in some trouble most of the most of the way there. Um, bummer, bummer, bummer. Obviously losing here. I know that. Uh, let's back up to say right here was. Yeah, Queen C7. It says. Well, losing anyway. Where was I? Where did I go wrong for good? Probably quite a ways back. Okay, already losing pretty badly there. This is all pretty bad. I said h6 was better. I guess that's probably true. Alright, here. King e7 was better. King e7 held him off over the while. while. Was all this okay? Um, Alright, here... He's only got a half a pawn advantage, according to Houdini, and g6 killed me, so or, or hurt a lot. Bishop h6 was better. Bishop h6. I didn't think I could do that. Oh, because the knight's still there. I see. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Let's stop that. Uh, so, um, not great, but whatever. I'd, it's always nice to hang a queen in a 20-minute, 20 20-second 20 increment game. So, uh, going back here, I was dead anyway, but I thought I'd found a nice little tactic, but I, or a nice little trick, but it hadn't been for the queen just hanging over there. Maybe I had. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, whatever. All right, guys, um, so I post even my horrible blunder games, so enjoy that one for whatever it, it's worth. Uh, see